Hello, the computer doesn't recognize the hard drive in the BIOS or in the Explorer. Now we'll consider almost all the reasons for such situations and their correction. I think you will definitely find your situation. And if everything is fine with your disk, then you will know what to do if suddenly this happens. We will consider both situations with HDD disks and SSDs, both internal and external. Subscribe to the PCNP channel, here are regular useful releases for computer users. And the first reason – connection problems. Check if the SATA cables and power are connected correctly. To do this, disconnect the disk and connect it again. Look at the condition of the SATA connectors inside. Check both the cable plug and the hard drive sockets. If something is broken or bent, then of course the drive will not be able to connect. Also, each drive needs a certain power supply. Make sure it is enough. If you already have a lot of things connected and the power supply is not the most powerful, try disconnecting something else to make sure the drive is working. And if you are using the external drive, do not forget about additional power. Sometimes you need to connect not one but two USBs or a special adapter to supply power to the drive. If the drive is external, try another USB port or cable. The cables may be kinked or have internal breaks, and if you took a charging cable, it may not have the wires responsible for data transfer. Try taking a different cable or use the USB input on the motherboard on the back of the system unit instead of the front panel or USB hubs. Also try using a different type of USB connector for connection. USB version 3 instead of version 2 or vice versa. If the drive is internal, use a different connector on the motherboard. Sometimes the hard drive stops being detected on SATA connections when another drive is connected to the M2 slot. Try swapping the connection locations of the first and second drives to avoid conflicts on the motherboard. If none of these helps, try connecting the drive to another computer. If it connects there, then you will definitely be sure that it is working and its connection is correct. Then you can look for other reasons. And second, the hard drive is not displayed in the BIOS. BIOS is the first system of the computer that connects the operating system, for example Windows, with the connected devices. And if the drive is not displayed in the BIOS, then it is useless to do anything in Windows. Therefore, first of all, check here. How to enter the BIOS? Usually. Dell F2, F10 keys help during boot. Press quickly and make sure that you have completely rebooted the computer and not through the quick start restart. A complete shutdown can be easily organized if you hold the shutdown button for several seconds in a row. Find the list of connected drives in the BIOS and look for the one you want to connect. Also check by the number of recognized and connected drives to the computer. What to do if the drive is not detected in the BIOS? Check if the SATA ports are enabled in the BIOS settings. Some users have drives that are not detected by the system due to the built-in smart test in the motherboard. You can try to disable this smart setting and check the availability of the drive. Try to disable fast boot also. This mod speeds up the loading of the operating system by skipping the initialization of some devices. However, some BIOS settings directly state that when it is enabled, you cannot boot from USB. Keep this in mind if you have an external USB hard drive. If nothing works, the drive is clearly working but is not displayed in the BIOS, reset the BIOS settings to default or factory settings. This can be done in the BIOS itself and in hardware by removing the battery or shorting the reset contacts on the motherboard. And one more thing, do not be afraid to go through the BIOS settings and look for the necessary disk settings. Try to switch them, because you can always reset to factory. If the BIOS is not your reason and the disk is displayed normally here, move on to the next one. By the way, even if your disk is working, it needs help on a regular basis. It needs to be cleaned from garbage and at least 20-30% of free space must be maintained at all times. My program 
PCNP will help you with this. There is a very powerful section on disk cleaning, which contains the best ideas from other cleaning programs and my personal experience. And in the pro version of the program, it monitors your PC and informs you if it needs to be cleaned. Moreover, you can completely customize the conditions and frequency of such reminders. Try the program for free, more than 130 thousands users have already done this. I'm sure that you will also find it useful and maybe even like it. The links in description and the first comment. And now reason 3. The disk is not displayed in Windows Explorer. So we check the connection the disk is displayed in BIOS but not in Windows. Here you need to check a number of things. Check the disk using the disk management utility. Press Windows R and type this name of file. If the disk in this list but without a letter, right click and choose change drive letter. If the disk is not initialized, right click and choose initialized disk MBR or GPT. Select MBR if the computer is very old and for example it has 32-bit Windows 7, new ones only have GPT markup. Therefore, if this markup doesn't suit you, you can directly convert from MBR to GPT and from GPT to MBR in this utility. If the disk is not marked, create a new volume and be sure to format it. After that, the disk should appear in the Explorer. If the disk is not new, it has already been formatted and has files on it, but it is shown as unpartioned, then it is either physically damaged or damaged by viruses or there was an improper power off. Try to repair the disk using the command. Type check disk, the disk name slash f command. This command can fix some write errors. The fourth, driver problems. Open the device manager. Press Windows X or right click on start and choose device manager. Look for the disk in the disk devices section. If there is an error icon, then update the driver or remove the current driver and install it again, then restart the PC. If Windows drivers don't work, install the drivers from the manufacturer's website. To do this, write in the search the disk model, driver and official website. The fifth, Windows doesn't see the disk during installation. This situation is not uncommon. For some disk models, there is no driver in the Windows installer. Therefore, when installing Windows, it is not possible to mark the disk and select it. You have to download the appropriate driver from the Internet in advance and drop it onto the flash drive. The installation program has a special button that allows you to connect the driver and the disk will be detected. Personally, I don't like such situations, disks have many varieties and it is difficult to choose the right driver that works. You have to try more than once. The six Windows settings. In some cases, the fact that an external drive is not displayed or is not accessible in Windows is due to system settings. From prohibiting the use of removable USB drives using the appropriate Windows policies to incorrect operation of fast startup. If the drive is visible after restarting the computer, not shut down but exactly after restarting, and disappears after shutting down, try disable. Windows Fast Startup. Also open the registry editor, you can do it uh, when type reg edit in the start and go to this section. Check the value of the parameter named start in the right pane of the registry editor. If it is different from 3, double click the parameter, set the value to 3, confirm the changes and restart the computer. In the registry editor also check for a sub key named removable storage devices in two registry sections. If such subkey exists, delete it and reboot the computer. The seventh, malware and viruses. Such viruses are not common, but there are cases on the network. They can block access to the hard drive or even demand a ransom for it. If this is the case, then there is a clearly a virus, but you can check the system with an antivirus and try to get rid of it. Start Windows in safe mode and check the disk's functionality. If it works in the safe mode, then some process or service is blocking it in normal mode. This is either a virus or a malfunction. 
The best way to combat infection, if you see that there is a virus, is formatting. You should to format all disks on your computer. And the eighth, low level formatting. Another way, in addition, if the disk is seen in BIOS but not detected in Windows and nothing above helped, perform low level formatting. HDD low level format tool is suitable for this. Just select the disk and click the format button. Keep in mind that all data will be lost forever. And now let's make a conclusion. I tried to collect in this video all possible reasons for the hard drive not being displayed and solutions to this problem, but there are so many that I could have missed some. If you have something to add, write a comment and just write to support this video. If nothing helped, the disk is probably out of order and needs to be replaced and the data can only be extracted using special utilities for the BIOS and it is not a fact that it will work. Remember that to prevent serious problems with the disk and data loss on it, you need to regularly make backups. And to prevent various other problems with the computer, it is important to subscribe to the PCNP channel on YouTube. See you on the air!